Hi, Brandon with a beanie here, and today's topic of commentary is kind of a more somber one. Today we're going to be talking about what I think will eventually kill Dead by Daylight. So, realistically, I want to say first, it's never going to be one thing, right? It's never going to be one thing that kills Dead by Daylight. It's going to be a mixture. It's going to be a snowball of multiple things. Like, um, they get into big controversy. The game actually literally stops functioning, like, more so than usual, you know. Not just the usual bugs, but they're, like, literally, like, the game doesn't work at all <laughs> for some one reason or another. Um, it's it's going to be a mixture. It's going to be it's going to be a mixture of things that happen essentially. It's it's not going to be a singular thing, but a thing that I think is going to snowball into a really really big problem that they're kind of not taking very seriously is the elimination of the chase. And let me explain that. Let me explain that. So with the recent update to the Trickster PTB. Uh, with the trickster updates with the ptb uh trickster is just you know another anti chase killer who downs you super quickly and there's that one guy on reddit that i saw that's like this is why you we, this is why behavior doesn't listen to you because you know there was that twitter post of somebody asking for a trickster buff and then they buffed him there and then they weren't happy and they're like this is why this is why nobody listens to you <laughs> what, a, what a swarmy little insect anyways um so essentially now trickster you know I played him for six hours straight on the PTB, and uh, he's essentially really oppressive now. Uh, the whole like lowering the laceration from six to eight makes it super easy to down people. When somebody vaults a window, they take like three knives on average, you know, typically just because of like positioning and stuff. And now that's half a health state, right? Which is uh, terrifying. Um, <laughs> and if you can if you can get lucky and get more than that, you can almost kill them just because they vault a window, which is one of the few things they can do to uh, protect themselves from you as the killer. Um, and in, and I, I, I didn't used to be this person, right? I, I didn't used to be one of those people that was very, very, like, anti-characters who are anti-chase. Because, you know, there's got to be something, you know, to do against people who have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. But on the flip side, I think the way they're going with the game is trying to eliminate the skill that those people that have thousands and thousands of hours of hours have. And those people spend a lot of money in this game. A lot of money in this game. But they're essentially not only eliminating their skill that they've worked so hard to earn, but they're kind of eliminating the only fun aspect of the game. Because if you really, if you, if you really, really think about it, if you, if you like really, really think about it, if you like like sit down for a second the most fun part of the game is the chase what is the rest of the game i'll show you what the rest of the game is huh. 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 you know it's not that exciting it's just not you know it's just not that exciting it's just not like there's just you're just doing skill checks on a den and holding m1 that part of the game is not fun. And what are you doing? Unhooking and healing people occasionally? Like, the rest of the game is just holding a singular button. That is the gameplay. You hold Shift W to get places, and then you hold M1 to do things, and sometimes you play, you press an action button to hit a skill check. That That is the rest of the game. The only fun part of the game that is actually exciting is you running away from the killer, you evading the killer, you escaping the killer, the killer trying to get that down as quick as possible so they can go chase somebody else, right? So when you progressively start moving the game towards a place where there's thing, the only thing in the game that is fun to do is being shortened, right? It's being shortened. <sighs> The game is going to get incredibly boring very quickly. And it's going to be a quiet fall. It's not going to be loud. It's not going to be crazy. It's going to be quiet. Because the most fun thing to do in this game is quietly being uh, edited out. Which I think is just the funniest thing because the biggest, the reason they're doing this is because, you know, most killers are like weak. You know, I would say on average ha about half or more of the killers are, are, are not strong. They're just, they're just not. Um, and I think their solution to that is to just make the killers more oppressive and chase. When the real problem is that uh, at the beginning of the game, you know, they, we had Autohaven, McMillan, Korn, 
and you know the asylum maps like like originally we we did not have a lot of maps and most of those maps were not ginormous i'm looking at you besides you thompson house i'm looking at you <laughs> so like it wasn't as crazy for a character like trapper to try and get along because the the maps were much smaller now you know this is disregarding other things like the maps were more condensed there were a lot more pallets you know the shack used to have two windows blah 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 you know all that stuff but like at least the killer could get there at least the killer could have the chases even if the chases were kind of hopeless um now we have you know ever since hunters it's like mother you know mother's dwelling uh, temple of purgation uh you know all this stuff like we have huge maps now where all the gens are all around the edges and besides new maps like like dead dog like most maps kind of follow the the red forest formula of make big map put gens far away i mean like look at like yamaoka for example uh you know yamaoka estate is a big old football field big old football field a giant rectangle and then uh the sanctum of wrath is a big x and all the gens are in the corners except for like one or two so like the real issue is the fact that you just keep making huge maps and spacing the gens all on the edges. You can have big maps, just have the gens not on the edges. But, like, instead of fixing that problem, we're just going to make the only fun part of the game shorter and shorter and shorter, which is the chase. We're going to try to eliminate the chase, which is the only fun part of the video game, as much as possible. We're going to try to slowly remove that. And this game is going to progressively get boring and boringer and boringer and boringer until it's just gone. Right? Boring is not a word. You don't have to tell me, okay? I can't, I'll save myself some of the YouTube comments by saying that. But the game will become progressively more boring over time as we slowly just kind of remove the only fun thing that this game has going. And it's just... I think it'll be... A, like I said, I think it'll be a quiet thing. I think it'll be a very quiet fall. People will feel less like playing DBD, and people may not know why. <laughs> like, it'll be a very quiet snowball. But it will snowball... And it is a problem. You've got to emphasize the chase. This whole exhaustion per greed and this whole exhaustion per greed versus slowdown meta, it's just, it's already disgusting, right? Like nobody likes losing a chase just because somebody presses E or sprint bursts it away when they would have been unsafe otherwise. And nobody likes pop or ruin undying on a killer because because you're eliminating the chase so you have to uh, it's just it just causes so much problems right and on top of like i said and on top of that now the chase isn't even a thing anymore so most of the game is taking place in that stupid very very boring lame m1 simulator that they want the game to apparently be and when it becomes nothing but a phone mini game people are going to leave this game in droves Nobody wants to play an M1 simulator. Nobody cares about that. Killers don't want it, and survivors don't want it. So you have to stop. Like I said, it won't just be one thing. But this is what will make people physically stop playing your video game. Because the fun thing the game does is going away slowly. And you need to be careful about that if you want this game to survive. You have to emphasize that fun interaction between survivor and killer. Because right now, it, it's a slow removal. I, I could rant about this all day. So I think that's that's a good place to stop. I, I really, really hope that this is not where the game continues to go. And I really, really hope they try to emphasize the fun parts of this game again. Because it just it's been stale for a really long time and i'm already starting to feel it. i've only been playing for a year and it's getting more stale and more stale because the game continues to move away from the fun part which is the chases uh so yeah let me know what you think in the comments below if you like my video uh you know there's a way to actually you know like it and do subby things the cool stuff uh and if i don't see you in the next youtube video or on the twitch side of things i will see you when I see you, friends, goodbye.